Anna, my daughter. The year we spent on the road gave me time to think about things. Respect, responsibilities, duties. They all mean nothing compared to what's important. My family, you. I'm sorry, I only got it now. I'll go through this snow-covered graveyard with a sieve if that's what it takes to find the cure. As for Artyom, he feels his guilt. He wants to atone. I'll just have to see that atonement doesn't cost him his life. The important part is that I'm back in Metro, and no mutant can stop me here. Radiation on the surface is different, though. Frankly, I thought I was buying a one-way ticket for myself going in. You said you were close, but why do you need the Institute? You are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. But now, thanks to the green stuff given to us by Kirill, we both have a chance to achieve the goal and survive. So, Private, our team left. I'd better get ready to set out, too. What about me, Colonel, sir? You'll stay here. I'm putting you in charge of communications. I need someone to coordinate the operation. Can you handle the responsibility? Yes, sir. I can. Good. Uh, by the way, Private, how did you live here before the riots, when there was still enough green stuff to go around? Uh, we did all right. But my dad was always out on a mission or a patrol. So you barely saw him? Oh, no. Dad did his best to come home earlier, especially on the holidays. We even spent the last New Year's together. Colonel, sir, the maintenance guys asked to remind you to burn all the slime around the pumps once you reach them. Uh oh, I say the slime is done for. Colonel Klebnikov himself is taking up the flamethrower. <laughs> Don't jinx it. As for flamethrower, where is it? Here you go, Colonel, sir. Mind you, it's quite heavy. I know. Is it pressurized? It should be, but I'd still check. The handle's on the side. Give it a pump or two if needed. Ah, uh, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Give Slime some hell, too. We'll do just that, sir. We certainly will. Break a leg. Break both. Oh, thanks. It's huge! Older to all groups. I just saw a fully grown worm, so watch out. Older, red one here. Roger that. Red two, roger. Red three, roger that, sir. Good.
Just find the valve that stops the water flow. Roger that, Alder. <coughs> Alder, Red 3 here. I found the valve and then proceeding as planned. Good job, Red 3.
So, how is it going on your side? Everything fine? Yes, pretty much. What's up with you? Oh, my flame up on all the pressure. And I can't find a leak for the life of me. Do you have any spare fuel? I didn't expect that shit to grow so thick here. Of course I do, sir. Help yourself. Here. Nice. Thank you. I heard helping the commanding officers is good for your career. Also, that shit did grow like crazy. Ah, I think I got it. <laughs> I really did. All right, I'll go catch up with the guys. Good hunting, sir.
sir. I just had maintenance on the line. They say the water's flowing again. They are sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Great. Thank you. accomplished at ease gentlemen you did a great job there thank you colonel sir frankly we were on sweep up duty after you sir ah cut that sweep up duty sure <laughs> on behalf of oscom i'm issuing an official commendation we serve oscom <laughs> great we'll get out of those suits and go rest Certainly, sir. Thank you, sir. So what was I, uh... Oh, I remember now. I wonder how much radiation did we just soak up? Well, it's all ours now. Don't sweat it. We're gonna get some extra allowance on that account. They'll give us shots at the checkpoint. It's not that I'm sweating, it's just I'm thinking if I should just take it like this and spend it. I guess we could have a few drinks. It is New Year's Eve after all. And spend tomorrow puking our guts out because of radiation poisoning? Fuck that! You're right. I really could go for a few drinks though. We could still do that. I have a few ampules of green stuff stashed away just for such occasions. <laughs> now we're talking. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. I'll call them. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. Come aboard, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Hey, guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> Roll up your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Hey, uh, uh, no. Please, I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospect. <laughs> Is your granddaughter getting worse? 
No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we move to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. And see, the pumps are failing. It's because of that slime. They've been working non-stop for 20 years. Oh, and now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter flooding system will give up the ghost. <laughs> we'll have to row boats here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too! Oh, no. Please, spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir, please proceed. The general is expecting you. I don't need your excuses, Captain. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Oh, Slava. I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There has been a new development here while you are out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes, stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy, okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? Right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the goodness for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. I better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer, unless... How about some tea? You do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, he definitely does. He used to be on the soft side, like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him, almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man! 
an Oscom fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. Bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? <sighs> he still doesn't understand many things, and idealizes us. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is complicated. You must do certain things. And then look into his eyes thinking, would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero lover isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing, because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Mm, maybe. But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. Oh, come on. Such a soppy load of crap. Oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy professor, Maria Ivanovna, told us that. But I say they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. Did this ever work differently? Do they always? All right. You got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity, if they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. That was deep. Philosophical-like. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course, too. <laughs> uh, well... I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. Hate making public addresses, but the occasion calls for it. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations, Colonel, sir. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. Come on, Paul. We're going to be late. Hello, sir. There's too many people in the way. You can't really go through. You'd better go up through the restaurant and get to the gallery from there. No, no, no. Grisha's is right. We're going to be late drinking to... to friendship. Ah, yes, friendship. I guess... Let's drink to things this year staying same as they were last year. Only much better. Yes! You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! Look, Tanya, I just... So this is the new year. Your children have nothing to eat, and you drink your wages away! Oh, come on, Tanya! Come on! Just look! Look at what your son has to wear! Look at what I have to wear! There's no food at home! Do you understand that? I am in debt to everyone! I can't even look the neighbors in the eye! Do you even care about us? You're a disgrace! You drunk everything away! All the green stuff you got! They didn't give much, the greedy bastards. And anyway, come on! It's the New Year's! You scum! Slime! Drunkard! A disgrace! Why did I ever marry you? <laughs> oh, come on, Tanya. 
Please don't. Don't cry, Tanya, please. Oh, Colonel, <laughs> sir. Hello there. Tell me, Colonel, whatever do I do with this woman, huh? First of all, you should quit drinking. Uh, yes, I will, sir. Colonel, uh, I am not drinking no more tonight. Oh, this was so oh. good. Rather nice. This is strong. The brass. Got it. We are celebrating here. Come join us, sir. Carry on. I'm going home. Happy New Year. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Give our regards to Kirill. By the way, it's been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third company. Do you know the guy? The one with big ears. He also keeps telling ancient jokes all the time, don't he? <laughs> What's up with him? Something is for sure. They sent him topside to guard the construction crews. Construction crews? Are they building a new storehouse? No, the road. Which one? Damn, the secret one! Ah, you could have told! Shh, loose lips sink ships. The enemy listens. Or actually the friend, which is even worse. <laughs> Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Same to you, Misha. How about a drink? The first one is on the house tonight. Uh, tempting, but no thanks. Suit yourself. You could drop by later once you put your kid to sleep. We'll be open till dawn. Thank you. I just might. Look, one day we are going to go outside, are we not? We're not moles to live out our lives underground, you know. Ha <laughs> ha! What a surprise! Drink to the new year with us, Colonel, sir! Hello, sir! Join us, please. We'd be happy. Uh, uh, sorry, guys, but I gotta get home see my son. Happy New Year to you all! Ah, uh, thank you, sir! Thank you, happy sir! Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you, too! Let so, me at least hug you. Not now, look, there's people. <laughs> Stop that, really. Nobody's even looking. You're right, they all are. Cut it out, you stud. Don't be like that, just a little. What's the hurry? Later. Later? When exactly? Soon enough. After the celebration. Oh, come on. I can't wait. <laughs> Just wait a bit longer, you stud. You're plenty beautiful as you are. Put something on it, let's go. Just five more minutes. Five more minutes past an hour ago. <laughs> I bet you didn't expect an ambush here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your sit rep? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There is just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see... I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on. Mission accomplished. Good job, Private. Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. 
Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow, the tree is so beautiful. Yes, listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations, year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year, but all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal, the well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year, expecting change for the better and it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, Happy New Year! Oh, damn, this sucks, the damn generator is out again. Kirill, Miller here. Comms check, do you read me? Over. Kirill, I'm at the trading stores. Where is that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Oscom HQ used to be there. They brought the green substitutes from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Found it! Thank you, Private. to the authority. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir? Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First, we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split? People into sorts, the ones we say first, and then the rest. You know what's at stake? Our children, among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train, so don't fail me now. <laughs> Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. <sighs> I want another smoke. How about you? Don't mind if I do. 
Help yourself, then. It's been a while since I had smokes like this. The dirty stations are crawling with troublemakers. You know the sort. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting a new life. And they're going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no green stuff left, and then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Naturally. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning the common folk. A chance they won't miss. Well, you understand it all. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full-blown uprising. Still, God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. Either we save who we can, or we descend into chaos and all die. So if you do have to shoot, look at this as a war on living dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us into its grave. A cynical view. Cynical, but realistic. But Toby doesn't go that far. Are your people ready to do their part? Well, those who weren't all dropped out years ago. What's your take on the others? I'm not sure about some of them. We'll start quietly disbanding and disarming their units. You are risking splashing fuel on the embers. What else can I do? Damned if I do and if I don't. True enough. <sighs> you know, I do feel drained. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. Have some rest while you still have a chance. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava, take care. So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stock, we will be reimbursed fully and with interest, just as the paper says. He basically hinted that I had an official paper, signed and stamped, and that was the best I could have. What was your answer? What could it be? Yes, General, everything is as you say. Thank you for seeing me despite your busy schedule. You do understand that we had all our hard-earned wealth confiscated, so we are worried. He walked me to the door and shook my hand, with all respect. You weakling! What did I tell you? You had to make a stand! These papers are good for nothing, save for adorning the walls of fucking fools! You had to demand a real document, an IOU from the General himself, with date and his signature! You are a respectable man, Yakov! How can you let him do this to you? There was nothing else for me! He let me know right off the bat! It's obvious, really. It's in the way he looked, his handshake. He would have declined, so I just saved face. That's just because you, Yakov, are a coward and he knew you'd give in. You just had to push back. Just, just stay here. I'll go talk to him and get the thing that we need. You'll see. Someone must have some balls in this family. Don't you dare! It's all done already! All said and done! <laughs> My mom was right about you after all. I... Come on! Are you waiting for us to die here? Hello, sir. Stop Call abusing us like this, you gave us nothing on Citizens! How can you please, do this to us? Colonel, please, tell them to do something! We can't Stay wait away. anymore. Colonel, sir. Permission to address. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. Oh my God. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. Hey, I feel like what you left me What the hell is with you? Watch what you touch, soldier boy. I just remembered the New Year. Don't get Didn't excited. Didn't we have a drink right over here? Do you remember? Here. Come over here, sir. 
Of course I do. Young Grisha definitely had too much that night. We had to carry him home. And you were on the hook because of what Yes, and then we lost him on the way, because we were all pissed drunk ourselves. if you continue resisting, until you tell where the green I can't help but miss those days. They were simple and fun somehow. Yes. Open up, Petrovich. Slava. Uh, come in. Thanks. Bonnie. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. Akint? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. What? This is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know, but it we follow the rules. I found a cash, sir. It. He does have some. I can't Not say. too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this can't be all he has stashed. We should search more. There's a quota to me. Enough. We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. What the hell is with you? <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me, son. I'm sorry, too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Thank Don't you. mention it. Thank you, Slava. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air, it was calculated properly, and you're short. Pay the rest. Look, officer, think about it. Where am I supposed to get so much? You took all the green stuff from the people, the trade is dead, and you saddle me with a quota fit for a mogul. Put yourself in my shoes. I have a quota as well, and nobody cares how I'm gonna meet it. Quota, Schmota, I can't just wish for more green stuff to appear out of thin air. And you can tell your superiors that. Okay, we have a set quota here. Here we go again. We have a quota for you, you must deliver it, and I don't really care how. Oh, hello there. Where's Tatella? Your wife. Oh. Dead? How? Why? Her heart. She had a heart problem. Always worried about things. About children. My drinking. I'm sorry to hear that. I never knew she died. Look, could I borrow some from you, please? I need some green stuff. I'm in mourning. Can't you see what's going on? I don't have any myself. I will wait. But Nobody has, really. Oscom takes it all hour, from everyone. I can only give you my condolences place, and nothing else, really. Oh, it is all because of you. You Think people. Hard. You destroyed my whole life. You people killed her, you we did! We have a quota for you. You must deliver it, and I don't really care how. <laughs> I am not leaving until I get the green stuff. Oh. Saw that? Sure. Event Cuckoo from a dirty station, I gather. Or the depot. He probably thought we were swimming in green stuff here, that dumbass. You put it like this. I can put it even harder. They shouldn't even let us rabble in here, much less give them handouts. Shh, shh. They'll hear you. Right. I will wait. But if you don't come up with a solution within half an hour, my men will trash this place. In your place. Hello, Colonel, sir. 
Glad to see you back. I'm sorry for the mess here, but the refugees just keep coming in. The dirty stations have it real tough. The general ordered they are kept here for the moment. Then we'll pass them on. I see. Thank you, Sergeant. Come, open up. Ah, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want. You don't want what? To be a private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I want to see Biraskaya, and I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up, and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's... not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it, and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock, while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah... If I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still, those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them. They must apologize. Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. Kirill, Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Dad, do you really have to go? You didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me that. If we, Oscom, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. 
In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them must be kept secret for their own good. Do you understand that? I do, but still, this is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yeah. I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son. Slava, I'm sorry about that. I know you had no choice. <laughs> had I said nothing, they would have never believed they found her under the bridge. Neither I nor you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you too. See you on the train. Thank you. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. Yes, sir.
Lieutenant, I'll take the detonator. Give me cover. Yes, sir. Attention! Covering fire for the Colonel. No saving ammo! Roger that! HQ, Klebnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. Colonel, first, they blew the airlock and are coming down from the surface.
hold them here to the last man. There won't be any reinforcements. It's either us or them. We'll get them to the top row. We'll give them some. Let them come. We're ready. Operation successful. Pawns are all dealt with. Ready for evacuation. You fucker. What do you mean? Already left. What? What's going on? We're covering evacuation. Evacuation? But you just killed everyone! Soldiers! Civilians! Nobody left to evacuate! Slava! There's only enough green stuff left to evacuate the leadership! Everyone else is doomed! Gas was used just to cut the agony short. So you knew it! You knew it all along, you motherfucker! <coughs> Did I have a choice? And what difference does it make now? I made a mistake leaving me, though. <laughs> Petrov! Petrov! The fuckers left with ours! Get Seryoga on the line now! What? Dead? Seryoga? Son? Now listen to me. There's an RPG in the gun cabinet. Get it and rush to the old crossroads. Blow the fuckers up there! Go! <laughs> So, what do we do now? <laughs> Whatever. I had enough. <laughs> so long, Slava. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dad? Dad! Uh, Uncle Tolia? Did he just kill himself? Why? Don't look there. I'm sorry I broke your order. There was a shooting at the station. Then it all went quiet, and you didn't come. I was worried, and I went looking for you. Listen, I told you earlier. Who should be told the truth, and who should not? Forget it. It's not for us to decide. And if you're being fooled, it's never for your own good. That's why he's dead. I... I understand. Good. And now... Let's go home, son. Miller here. I'm at the bunker entrance. Roger that, Colonel. You'll be off the grid inside, so please, be careful. I will, Kirill. Miller, over and out. Pine, this is Older. Come in, Older. Older. Private, I'm at the bunker's door. I'll be off the grid while I'm down there. Don't know how long. When is the next scheduled radio contact? Keep it sharp, Colonel. The battery? Keeping it charged. The door? Look, I'm eating the liver too. It's burning the slime, and I don't go to the dirty stations ever. Dad, fill out the whole cheat sheet for me. I'm reading off it now. You do just that. Reading helps you remember. That's all, Pine. I'm going offline. Roger that, Elder. Pine, come in. Over. Pine here. Over. I love you, son. A whole lot. Uh, I love you too, Dad. And I want you to eat that liver without fail, over and out. to evacuate the complex immediately.
to evacuate the complex immediately.
bit of rest. I'm just so tired. There you are, brother. Hmm. You found the maps and took a break, I see. I need a breather, too. Boy, did these hunks of iron chafe. <laughs> Gotta watch out not to stay for too long, though. Your son sent me here, told where to look. He's tough, your Kirill. Yes, I can see his effort. Children, it's always about them. I'm here because of my daughter. She's smart, strong, kind, beautiful. I can't even tell you how proud I am of her and how much I love her. I'm trying to be a father, but end up a colonel. It's as if by showing affection, I'd also show my vulnerability, not just to her, to her husband, too. At first, I even thought that boy was all right. 
But his obsession with truth started driving me mad. He kept risking his life while he had the love of the best woman in the world. Decent people want normal things. A thicker broth, a warm place to call home, and healthy children. But he wants truth. Let me glance at those maps. Boy, was I mad at him. But then I took a closer look at the world and re-examined my life up to that point somewhat. Especially when I heard your story. I saw my past self in you, friend. We both served the great lie, because we both made ourselves believe it was necessary. And if not for him, I would have ended up like you did. But now, finally, my life has a real purpose for a change. All because I can finally look the truth in the eye. I think you understand. Thank you for the maps. Don't think it was all in vain. You saved us all. And Creel? I'll give him this watch and make sure he gets out of this hellhole. You have my word. Well, it's time. Farewell, Colonel Klipnikov. Rest easy. Stay with me. Hold on, son.